your first time to visit my YouTube channel, please remember to subscribe and click the bell icon down below. So in this video today I'll be showing you on how to extend the storage capacity of your system. Maybe if you're using a 500 gigabyte hard disk, so you can expand it maybe to 1 TB or above. So let's get going. So guys, in our computer, so inside the system unit you have in the motherboard, you have the hard disk, you have the power supply, system fan, the CPU, and the other components. So we are much concerned about the additional of the hard disk. So we just have to smack. Smacking is the process of adding a hard disk to the system. So guys, this is now the drive bay where you place in your disks. So just continue, just go on and add the disk at that point. So you add the disk at this point. So after addition of the disk, so you now have to consider about the power cable and the SATA cable. Talking about the slaving of hard disk, you must identify the master hard disk and the slave hard disk. So in this case, the master hard disk will take the SATA 0 or SATA 1, depending on the organization of your system. And then the slave hard disk will take the other SATA. Now, this is the SATA, this is the power cable. This is the power cable and this is the SATA cable. So in connecting the power cable to the hard disk, so it's no big deal, just connect it to any point. The power cable is still the same. So you might, where you must pay attention is about the SATA cable because you are dealing with the master and the slave hard disk. So talking of the master hard disk, this is the hard disk where the system will boot from. So in connection of the disks, you now have to verify the SATA connection from the SATA port, maybe the SATA 0 and SATA 1, 2, 3, depending on the organization of your motherboard and the system unit. So viewers, this is now inside my system unit. As you can see, having SATA 0, SATA 1, SATA 2, SATA 3, and SATA 4. So it depends on the organization of your motherboard. So some other computers may find up to SATA 5 and so on. Others are having up to SATA 3. So in this case, you're having to, you have to place the master hard disk direct from SATA 0 and the slave from SATA 1, 2, or 3. So the master hard disk should take SATA 0. So this first hard disk over here. So I want to be my master hard disk. So I connect it to the SATA. So and so do the same to the other slave. Connect it from SATA 2, 3, or others. It depends on the system because some other system you will find starting from SATA 0, others starting from SATA 1. You have now connected the SATA successfully, so you now have to go to switch on our computer and see the storage capacity and the partitions. So, viewers have now switched on the PC, so as you can see over the screen, having disk 1 and disk 2 all of. Uh, 500 gigabytes. So what you have to do is just press F1 to save the changes. So obvious after selecting the disk. So at this point, so I want to view the disk. You can view it using the dispart command. So launch the command from the administrator and then you type the dispart command. After that, you type the list disk. So now you can see you having the two disks, the disk one of 500 giga, gigabytes, and so the disk two for 500 GB. So that's the used to extending the disk. So you, you now have a extended space, and you can now do your activities, even copying the files. So that's the first way of viewing the disk. So the, as you proceed, you can select the disk or even exit to get the command prompt so we just viewing the disk from the command prompt the thing you're going to do is to view the disk from the file explorer you can view it from file explorer and then you have uh, from disk management so you can view them from so you click on on the file explorer and you can see you're having the two disks 426 gigabytes and 410 gigabytes. These are all of 500 gigabytes because there are some other space taken by the system in the installation of Windows and other 
activities being performed by the system so we have the system application for that which is taking that space so that's the easiest way of doing this to viewing the disks after you've slaved another disk so you can even check the capacity and even make it active or even partition so you right click on this pc and then click on manage to proceed so this at this point you have to click on uh, disk management so this at this point that i've highlighted with the uh, red so you click at that point on the disk management and you proceed so disk management from this point you can format the disk you can partition you can delete a partition and make it active so you're having disk 0 and disk 1 so the one you have slaved at the moment is the disk 1 disk 0 is now the master hard disk we are talking about the master hard disk is the disk that uh, when you switch on your computer that's the where the um, computer boots from that is uh, you're having the operating system on that disk the master hard disk must contain the operating system so the system can boot from there so this is the, the simplest way of doing that so if you have any questions guys just comment down below in the comment section and let me know the type of hard disk you're using maybe the ntfs or even the fat32 and even you can convert from fat32 to ntfs and ntfs to fat32 so from this point you have to if you want to partition you click on shrink so sorry you right click on the disk that you want and then click on shrink from this point you're having the total disk have the space after shrinking so you have to select having in mind that one gigabyte is equivalent to 1024 megabytes so from this point you select the capacity that you want so by click on shrink you now be able to create a new partition have in mind that you leave the space for the local disk c because the local drive c should have large space because you're now installing the files and uh, anything during the installation you majorly install them on the local disk c so by doing that you you're preventing your system from crashing because when you overload the local disk c your system may have problems during the booting and even processing the information because that's like the internal storage so guys we are here we have created the partition so we have the local disk c and this other partition which is marked as unallocated so to make it active uh to make it a healthy partition so you have to right click on that and then make it active so you right click on that then click on simple volume and then this point you have the at this point you'll be guided on what to do welcome to the new simple volume wizard and then you've been directed so you click next simple volume size that's the size so how to to continue if you want to make active or if you don't want to make active just click back so you click on next you assign the drive letter so at this point you have the the system can assign a drive letter for you or you can even change the same thing can be done using the command prompt so let's just leave it at the default let's leave it at f and let's proceed from this point you change the drive letter you can mount in the following empty space empty ntfs folder so you click next and then guys at this point you'll now be able to view the disk and the partitions that you've currently created so you have the reserved and the healthy partition this is now the second disk these are slave disks the disk that you have added to the system remember guys as i've said that slaving is the process of adding an extra disk 
or just adding a disk to your computer system. So at this point you have to format because it's now the new partition that you've created and it doesn't contain any files. It's a good thing to format because you're now cleaning it and making making it ready and active for the for you to work on it. So after slaving you can clone and remember cloning is the process of uh, copying the files from the from one disk to another. So you in case you're copying from the master hard disk to the slave, this you are copying including the boot files. So at this point you click on format. You paint the disk is for fat 32 or AX fat. So you click on the preferred disk and then click on next. So from this point, you must read the this point. We're having complete then completing the new simple wizard. So you have the capacity of the disk, the file system, the drive letter. So you're making it active. So at this point, you have to proceed. Look at the bottom right corner. You have the new simple volume. So it's now active. We're now working on a healthy partition. So that's the easiest way of making it healthy. And so from here, you're proceeding. You can view it to have the new volume F simple basic the file system is ntfs have the healthy primary partition so guys this is the easiest ways of doing this so when you come back to the file explorer you can view that partition so let's even use the command prompt so you access the command prompt then type this part then from this part you have to type plus disk so listing disk will list all the available disks, then select the disk. So in, in our case, we're selecting disk zero, and then from that, list the disk. So the list partition. So you're listing partition, you want to view the current partitions on, the, on that disk. So you're having the, these three partitions. Remember that the first partition is the reserved partition. So you've created this partition. So, we now have two partitions on disk zero. So guys, keep watching because I'm going to inform you more and more about the partitioning of hard disk. I also have another video just specifically meant for partitioning the hard disk. So guys, you'll find the link down below in the description. And if you have any questions, guys, please comment down below in the comment section. And let me know the type of disk that you're using the capacity and even the format the file system maybe you're using the ntfs and uh, again let me know the type of operating system that you're using windows 7 windows 8 8.1 even 10 and comment down below in the comment section so you can also rename the partition maybe give it a, a name that will please you or just leave it at that so guys that's the easiest way of adding a hard disk to your system and even formatting sorry creating the partition so if you have any question just comment down below in the comment section thanks for watching